Okay, so we are live for the si Sunday sister session. So um, hopefully my sister's going to join me. Otherwise it will just be a Sunday session and that won't be as fun because she's crazy. Um, hi Shelley. Hi, thanks for joining. Uh, just waiting for my sister to join and we can get going. How are you Shelley? Ah, here is the sis. Right, let me add her in. Lovely. Here we go. Here she comes. Shelley, can you just tell me, can you, can you hear me okay? Because I'm using a mic, so I just want to make sure it works. Can you do thumbs up if you can hear me, Shelley? Oh, hi, Lise. Hi. <laughs> oh, I can't hear you. Hang on. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. I'm going to take my mic out. One second. Okay. Technical issue. It turns out if I have my mic on. You I can't, can't hear me. I can't hear you. So let's. Oh. 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 Hi Laura. Hi Jay. Thanks for joining. Oh yeah, it was nice and loud before on your mic. Oh really? Yeah, you're going to have to speak up. Oh no! Not again! Can you hear me? Not again! Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Gordon Bennett! Shucker and shucker dash! Who's watching? Hello! Thanks for Who we got? Us. Oh, Jake's joined us! I know! That's my. Oh, friend. hi, Jake! And Lolly Bleak! Yeah, hi, Lolly! Thanks for joining! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I also realised that my battery was at 20%, so I was like, I might need to plug that in. Um, I'm 27 and I haven't brought a charger down with me. <laughs> Hi, Emily! Thanks for joining! Give us a wave, everyone. Um, can I just say, it's absolutely baking. I'm melting. <laughs> I am melting. I know. Going like... I, I think my camera's like steamed up. I look all cloudy on my, on my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Emily. Oh, Hello. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's... So hot, guys. What's everyone doing today? Or what's everyone doing? Because it's been so hot. Mm -hmm. Everyone managed to be I, working. Cheap. I forfeited my alcohol today. I was like, I can't drink alcohol in this heat. Like, have you got a drink? <gasps> oh! <laughs> is meant to be with a drink. If anyone's holding the drink. But it's so hot. I was like, I can't do it. I can't face it. And I was drinking quite a lot last night. <laughs> Laura can drink for you because she's drinking vino in the garden. Cheers. Thank Laura. you. Oh, oh now, I've, now I've got wine envy. Yeah. Oh, last day of staycation. Oh, where have you been? Has it been in her hot? garden. <laughs> oh, Sounds like... It yeah, staycation. Okay, staycation. Or yeah, I'm wondering if the Isle of Wight is more busy now because of lockdown. Like, it does feel that way, that it's more busy. Mm -hmm. I was talking about it with mum, but it's like such a lovely place to come. I wonder if more people will, you know, come to the island instead of going to France and Spain. For anyone who did not grow up on the Isle of Wight, we call it the island. Like, there's no yes. other island in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. I know we call it the island, <laughs> the best one, <laughs> or or Sraycation, apparently. <laughs> yes, someone can't spell because someone's been drinking wine in the garden. <laughs> well done. Five points to you. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> so. Yes. So let's get serious. 
<laughs> I feel like I feel like the headmistress in uh, Three Men and a Little Lady when I said that. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh I know. My gosh. So, we're here for half an hour. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, not not getting too serious, but um our little <laughs> can't help it. I can't help it. <laughs> oh, <friend> yeah. <laughs> oh, can you can you hear me by the way? Yes. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. I didn't just want to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need alcohol. <laughs> Wouldn't that be scary on alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> don't answer that. <laughs> so our little chat today. Yes. The reason why we're doing it is because uh, we've got another sister, Georgie, and Holla Georgie, who isn't online watching us at the moment. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, um, we'll let yeah. you know. um, she, so we were all chatting, weren't we, on WhatsApp together, and we all realized yeah. we were kind of in a bit of a funk like, this week that's just gone. Yes, yes. Um, but, sorry, can I just interject though that we, Georgina yeah. was going to be on the call with us, but then we discovered that we can only do two in a live, yeah. and we were like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, it's okay, I'm busy anyway. <laughs> So it wasn't awkward. But yeah, we're not excluding her. We did try and include her. Well, kind of exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm kidding. Kidding. Love you. Yes. Oh, no. Me too. Oh, you were in a funk too like, this week. Aha. Uh -huh. We're on to something. So so yeah, we we've been in a funk. Yeah. So we were talking about what why we're in a funk and what helps us get out of that funk yes so we thought why don't we do a chat this week about what gets us out of the funk and how yes can help make people feel good and give them some ideas for positivity and just how to get their oomph back mm -hmm. yes yeah and get up uh, get on up get up get on get on out <laughs> you funk <laughs> yeah like that yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> so we talked about we talked about um things like well i know mine sounds really really simple and obvious but i realized that i was on like everything had been so busy even though i love my singing and releasing the singles and everything and promoting it i was getting really high on on all the adrenaline and all the the creativity but at the same time burning out and i could feel it i was like I need a rest, I need a rest, but I wasn't resting because I was just loving it too much. And I was like waking up at three in the morning and, or staying up, you know, doing all my social media and stuff. And, um, I stopped meditating. I stopped doing my gratitude diary, like, because I was just, it's like when you're in love or something, you know, like all your friends get dropped for a bit while you're just like cocooned in this like love. And it was like that, but, but I was burning out and I was like, okay. I, and I didn't recognize the need that to take the break. And, oh, yeah, and then I got, what's who's that? What's that? Aha. Uh -huh. So, um, a gratitude diary is every morning, you, or whatever time of day you like, you write down the things that you're grateful for. Oh, and it just yeah. helps you. I do it in the morning so that it sets my day up mm -hmm. by having that positive mental attitude nice. and you're no longer focusing on the negatives in your life focusing on the positives and it also raises your vibration immediately because yeah. yeah. when you're trying to manifest it helps if you're already feeling that feeling so when you're feeling grateful for things that helps you to get into the right high vibes to then attract more of what you want i like this i should try it yes do seriously um you i feel it immediately just doing it for a week you'll feel a difference oh, nice. yeah and it's really lush. Like I'm at my favourite coffee and I sit quietly and I write. And then Lily comes along and goes, can I write? And I'm like. <laughs> oh, bless. Oh, lovely comments coming through, Lee. So um, 
just keep a look out for those. Feeling um, gratitude is the biggest thing I learned through all of my difficult times. Yeah. That's beautiful. Really nice, really nice. And um, Emily said she felt better just uh, watching this already, I think. So sorry if you haven't said that. She's like, I can't feel better. Um, yes, no, I think that's what she said. So yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jen's already on the wine. <laughs> but yeah, like, um, you know, when you just need to like take your time out and recognize how you're feeling and then address it immediately rather than letting it get to the point where it makes you sick. Yeah. 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 I think that's a good one. And is, um, Laura, no, it's Laura, is it? I mean, to find gratitude when you're going through a difficult time, I imagine at the time it's a very difficult thing to do. Yes. Um, but if you can do it, I'm sure it it makes a, it, an even more of an impact. Yeah. So, and, you know, yeah. when we were going through lockdown and it was all pretty depressing, mm. like I found myself as well just getting into such a funk where I was literally writing down I'm grateful for a roof over my head. I'm grateful for food on the table. Yeah. I'm grateful, you know? Yeah. It yeah. really takes you down to base. And then you realise, gosh, actually, these things that I've been taking for granted are actually things to be grateful for yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. Okay, so one of mine... Yes? Mine is also really simple and obvious. But for me, it was going to the gym. So, yes. or I mean, you don't have to go to the gym, you can exercise. It's about yeah. exercise. So, um, during lockdown, I was trying to exercise at home. Um, and I think for the first few weeks, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm doing all of these, all these like on online, like uh, tutorial things, and it's great. And then as lockdown progressed even further, I was like, can't bother. No, <laughs> drink wine and eat loads of really bad food. Um, Emily's oh, yes, joining Emily, us. Yes, join us. Um, <laughs> and so I, I wasn't working out towards the end, and then obviously and with all of my cat trouble and um, um, terrible time and lack of sleep and stressing and worrying and grief and everything, um, I just felt like I had the, I had such an urge that I just need to go to the gym. I just need endorphins. I just need yeah. to um, and even though I really didn't want to go because I just couldn't be bothered, I just dragged myself in and um, felt so much better because of the endorphins. It's just, it's just it, it really does make a difference. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. You can feel it immediately when you fin when you finished. Half the, you know what often happens is I'll go for a run and then when I get back, I put on my favourite music and dance around the living room because I'm so happy. <laughs> That's <laughs> like an that's great too. Jo said that uh, exercise has been her saviour and wine. Yes. Yay. I mean, alcohol does has its, have its role to play. <laughs> we are not ambassadors for an alcohol brand, by the way. <laughs> no, really not. I hope you're having a lovely haul. It looks beautiful. Ah, Laura's having a lovely holiday. Yay. That's nice. Holidays make a difference. Yeah. Having something look forward to that's the other thing isn't it is because <clears throat> lockdown like shut down all our plans yeah the rug was pulled out from under our feet and then we're like uh oh what can I look forward to and you know yeah. like it, yeah. that oh that also became a, a, a challenge like mental I think it's been a lot of mental challenge hasn't there like it has, yeah. Over lockdown, like you're dealing with the, you know the emotions are just flowing but it's it's how you're tackling it with your mind yeah and and that, that brings me on to fight or flight mode because I feel like a lot of us have been in a prolonged state of stress, right? With lockdown, yes. and mm -hmm. you may not notice it because it's you know lockdown happened, and then okay, we're going to deal with the immediate issue, and then it becomes the norm, and then it's like four months later, all of a sudden. But throughout this whole time, even though we've all mm -hmm. dealt with it in our own way, and everyone's dealt with it so well. Um, yeah. Then, then. Uh, sorry, I was just reading uh, Laura's message. You two are so alike, says the twin. She's a twin. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, 
so um because we are we've then just got used to it and just yeah like, just living in it we don't realize that we're actually in this state of stress all yes the time. Um, yeah and when you're in that state of stress i've written a blog on this by the way so just jennifer.co.uk uh go to my blog <laughs> and read it um no, so i'm going to talk about this um because it's 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 what i was also researching for my reflexology that mm. when we're in a state of um prolonged stress we go into fight or flight mode and yeah there are different extremes of fight or flight mode but regardless as to what extreme it is the the best analogy for me is when i'm trying to explain it to clients is that imagine you're on safari and you go out onto the plains and you and you stop for lunch and you have a sandwich in the middle of this big open plain you've just eaten your sandwich and suddenly a line runs in front of you and you're out of the jeep well, all of a sudden your body says, forget the sandwich. I'm going to make sure my heart's pumping quickly so I can get oxygen to my muscles and to my brain and that my eyes are going to dilate, my pupils are going to dilate so I can see better and my reactions are better. So your body just instantly and automatically takes the attention away from the digestion and mm -hmm. puts the attention of what, need, what is needed to get through that immediate moment. Energy. Um, and when we're in a prolonged state of fight or flight mode, that's literally what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis. And yeah. It means that our digestive system is not working efficiently. Yeah. Um, so it means that the nutrients and the vitamins that we would normally digest and use very efficiently are actually going to waste. Wow. Yeah. So that's also what's happening. So, you know, it's. I just think it's really important for us to... <laughs> be able to tap into these different um different ideas. coping strategies yes yeah a hundred percent i had to come say a quick hello and oh, and thank you for the beautiful oh, diffusion that's nice <laughs> how are you <laughs> um, yeah so um when you're talking about that I definitely recognize what you're saying and agree. And I find that therefore it becomes even more important to do like the meditations. Um, and my friends have been asking a lot about meditation lately. They're like, how do you do it? And I can't seem to concentrate. And it's like loads of people. I mean, I, I know it's much more common now and I'm sure lots of people can and do meditate now as part of their routine. But um, there's a lady that I follow on YouTube who's really go good. She's called Rasa Lukasute. No one can pronounce her name. Um, but, so, well, like, <laughs> so I think she's now called herself like Meditations by Rasa, just to make it easier. But it's R-A-S-A. -A. But she's really good and she does guided meditations. So if you're like me, where your mind wanders off, and you're like, mm, I need some cheese. Oh, I thought, you know. <laughs> oh yeah 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 okay yeah, um, i wonder if they do this in india oh my god like <laughs> you know <laughs> it's literally daddy your chips daddy your chips do you remember you like more daddy your chips daddy your chips daddy your chips exactly exactly <laughs> it's it's that yes that's what goes on in my head so i really enjoy having a guided meditation she just talks enough to just clear the chatter and you can concentrate on what she's telling you to do and she makes you focus on the body you know she talks you through every single part of your body normally you know and that helps you then focus on your body yeah because like you said if you're in that fight or flight mode um, and and permanent stress then your your body is going to be like tense and you're not going to be noticing it so just by bringing your attention back to the body yeah helps you to just release it yeah and then it helps you to be calm and it helps you to be relaxed and that helps you to raise your vibration again so that you can have crazy times happy times and and manifest what you want in your life amazing so I just want to say um, hi to Preen Nails, who's joined, um, who's watching us. And also, I just wanted to respond to Sam. Sam had said, or oh, Sam Ways, I found your vanilla and jasmine scent so calming. I never feel like that with any scents. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Hi, <Hello>. Matt. <laughs> is, is, is that the Sam who was yeah. our competition winner? Yes. Yes. Uh -oh. But his name isn't Sam. No. 
Yeah. <laughs> We've been crying. You're not going to say what Sam's name is. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's fine. I just wanted to make sure it was the person that I'm thinking of. Yes, no. It's the one, it's the, yes, it is Sam, <clears throat> legend. The legend. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah, that was the other thing. Oh, yeah. And so, for me, like last this week, to get out of my funk, I just went for a walk. Sounds really simple, but. I was so busy. I didn't really have time to do it, but I made the time. Um, I had a massive to-do list and I felt quite stressed with it, but I went for a walk. I took photos of pretty flowers and I sat down with the sun on my face and I was like, oh, and I, I, also I got dressed up. <gasps> I dressed up like I was going on a date actually. I'm, and I'm it made yeah. such a difference because I was making the effort for me yeah. and, um, I felt great and on my walk I felt great and I felt like I was having a date with the beach yeah. <laughs> and um oh my god it was only two hours that I was that I'd taken out of my day but I was a new woman at the end of it mm. and I was laughing and joking and um relaxed and ideas were popping into my head as well just from being so relaxed I got inspiration coming through and get this I was going to walk one way and this little voice was like, yeah, go that way. And I was like, why? And I was like, okay, I'll go that way. Went that way, bumped into a friend who is in the music industry and gave me loads of contacts oh, for my, promoting my music. Amazing. Uh -huh. And he was just driving out of the car park and I was walking across and it was just, you know, so I feel like these things also happen. Yeah, they do. Synchronicity starts to happen right. yeah. when you're in that relaxed yeah. state when you're feeling high vibe yeah so yeah. and then you've also got the headspace to be able to hear the little voice going let's walk this yeah. way yeah. yeah so um i also find that water is something for me like uh -huh. with water and also with green plants I'm wanting nice. to brown my As in, with like yes. foliage. Yes. What's that? That's that, that's um nature, isn't it? You're yeah. just connecting to nature. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mother Nature and to and you're grounding yourself with the plants is what you're doing. Mm. Yeah. And that's so important as well at this time, I think, to yeah. like try and go for a walk if you can in a park or on a beach or somewhere where there is nature so that you yeah. can really ground yourself and get your you're um feeling your roots basically yeah yeah, yeah. oh this is lovely so um yeah. sam's just said her name's kelly yes and she said she's been listening to the music and she's been finding it really calming which is lovely yeah yay oh th excited to hear the r&b that i've got planned yeah. coming out Woo! thank you um yeah i'm nervous but only because everyone's loving the chilled vibes and then I'm just going to switch it up and change everything <laughs> and it makes me nervous. Are you handing wine to, yes, to sorry, hubby? I'm, I'm, I'm asking him to get me some more. Sorry. <laughs> With the look. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry, I am listening. No, 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 it's just really sweet of Kelly. Thank you so much, Kelly. That means so much about the music, yeah. So lovely. So that was um, a thing. And you were talking, though, Jen, as well, when we were having a, a recap about this stuff, you were talking about um, touch points. Yes. Um, oh, my gosh, my husband's <laughs> yeah. moving the screen for me. Um, Thank you. We've got a lovely view of Jennifer's boobies. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that just happened. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> My husband, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, yes. So, um, I. To be fair, he's angled it nicer now. It actually is a nicer background now. I was trying to get out the sun. I was getting like, yeah. Oh. Uh... Yes. Um. So, <laughs> I follow. Um, an amazing woman called Monica underscore black underscore life underscore coach. Okay. okay. Monica black life coach underscores. Yeah. Everywhere. And um, she did a great post this week. I think it was like Monday morning. 
about how um, to anchor yourself onto positive thoughts. So she was saying that we need to like lie there and think of something that makes you super happy, something that you love, something that is dear to you. And <laughs> my husband's just dropped his phone. Um, and then put your two fingers together, your thumb and your finger together, and just yeah. hold on to how it makes you feel, that thought, and use that as an anchor. And yeah. then throughout the day, do that again and feel that it really worked for me because I woke mm. up and I, I I was so upset about David the night before. David the cat, by the way, David's not the way, he's a cat. Um, I, I, <laughs> I was very upset. Um, and um, I woke up in the morning feeling awful and read her post and did it. And I really felt a difference. So I messaged her, mm. thanks, I'm going to be doing that from now on. So Monica, Black Life Coach, you are amazing. So well, how, how um, often are you meant to do it? Do you do it just what, when how many times a day? When ah. Happens. Yeah, just to bring yourself back to that moment of happiness. Or it doesn't have to be happiness, you know, it can be anything. But just use yeah, any anchor. Um, I like it. Yeah. And that um is that also then to do with the neural pathways then? You're just creating a, a new an extra link in the brain because yeah. you're not only remembering it but that you've got a physical sensation right. with it as well. So it's exactly. strengthening that neural pathway of going back to that happy place all the time. Yeah. yeah. Yes, because if anyone suffers with depression yeah. Um, depression is a lot about just repetitive negative patterns that are just yeah. really well grooved in the brain and we can very quickly just go to that place yeah. and it's about going reroute, reroute, reroute so that I bet that's really key yeah. as well, really helpful. Yeah. And Kelly, yeah. Sam, Sam Ways or Kelly we can now say, um, she, has she, she any advice for migraine suffering? I've been suffering so bad over the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. Um, so, I mean, I'm a, I'm a reflexologist, so I do mainly foot reflexology, um, but I also know hand reflexology. So if you're in pain, general pain, you want to put your finger here in between your first finger and your thumb. Okay. The other side, exactly on the other side, and pinch. It's Don't pinch too hard. Go in. Go in. Oh. It's gonna feel quite tender. Nano, nano. <laughs> you can feel that. That is for general pain. Okay. If you're looking to deal with anything to do with the head, it's gonna be your thumb here, okay? So you wanna be doing movements up your thumb. Okay. And you can massage around the thumb there. Oh. Oh, Kelly says she uses a peg. A peg? Wow. Does that not Do you happen? use a peg here, Kelly, or here on your thumb? Are you are you crying at work on Friday because of um you've had enough of all the virus stuff? Have is that what it is? Or you just had enough in general? That's really useful. Thank you, Jen. And also you can talk about the aromatherapy oils, right? Because you've got la <laughs> Jen's making a face again. <laughs> Sorry, is he, is he teasing you with the wine? Yeah, I can see it. He's like, no. you want it, but you can't have it. I got it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, um, oh, Kelly's had enough of the migraines. That's why. Okay. Because you can use lavender oil, can't you, as well, to help relieve yeah, and, the really and migraine. Laura says, up your magnesium intake too. Okay. Um, have you have you um, ever tried reflexology, Kelly? Mm. I also saw something on Facebook which I wanted to try before I recommended it, and it was... I read it. It was you put. I can't remember which way around this goes. <laughs> I think it's a warm tub of water you put your feet into, and frozen peas on your head. I think. I think. <laughs> frozen peas on your head. So that would sure. I think so. Okay. Or is it on the back of your neck? And it, I think it's something like to make your thingy shrink, blood vessels shrink in your head, and draw. And it draws 
the hot water draws all the blood down to your feet or something and it's just meant to take away oh, look, look, i haven't look, tried look. it someone's recognizing what i'm talking about feet yeah. in hot water Come yeah on. try it can you please report back <laughs> well um laura is a migraine sufferer too so she will know i think she's uh -huh. she's done it aha uh -huh. yeah yeah there we go oh, oh and you are, speaking, you are talking sense see it does happen occasionally <laughs> occasionally <laughs> occasionally i've been known to make sense don't you know <laughs> Joined. Hi. Yay! Hi, George. Sorry, you can't be on screen. We miss you. <laughs> Poor George. You don't want to be, but yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's like, don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I've been on the beach. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Enjoying my life, man. Hello. Um. What was I going to say? Oh, and yeah, so. But Jen, you know about the essential oils, don't you? Because of all your fragrances, yes. the lavender. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. For a reason. Sorry. What? <laughs> what? Where's my wine? Anyway. Not allowed anymore. Um, so, <laughs> um, peppermint <laughs> also really helps as well. Oh, okay. Peppermint. Very good. It's also very good for hot flushes. Um, so the best way to get essential oils onto into your bloodstream and I just is to inject them. No. I'm kidding, I'm taking the Mickey out of Trump. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that oh, so um the uh, don't put peppermint oil directly onto your skin. Disclaimer. Um, mix it in with a fractionated coconut oil. If you mix it in with fractionated coconut oil, that is coconut oil that has taken all of the saturated fat out, it will then not stain your clothes. So that's oh. um, so mix it in first. Or with any carrier oil, right? Yeah, a carrier like oil. Almond oil. But always fractionated. Ah, uh, okay. So you want to, the quickest way to get it into your bloodstream is to put it through on your arm here and here. Okay. Ooh. That's where the major veins and arteries are. Aha. Uh -huh. It's amazing to think that your skin will absorb what you put on it you, and it gets into your bloodstream. Do you know what? That's why you need to be so careful with skin care. Yes. Yes. That brings me on to Joy Lab. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> We're doing well, aren't we, Jen? <laughs> Plugging your. It's brilliant. You genuinely haven't. Anyway. <laughs> 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 I'm a skincare specialist as well, and I'm an ambassador for Joy Lab. But that's another. That's another concept. Yeah. But um, it's very, very important because what you're putting on your skin, anything that you're putting on your skin, you think of. Uh, smokers, they put nicotine patches on their skin, and oh, yeah. nicotine goes into their bloodstream. So yeah, it's the same with skincare, and it's the same yeah. with cleaning products, and it's the same with everything that you put on or in your home. Um, it can all get into your bloodstream. So it's really super important to be toxic. Try and be toxin free where you can, or at least yes, what is in a product. And um, I'm not going to plug it, but Dual Lab is great and it's natural and uh, up to 98% natural. I've been using natural skincare since I was a child. I'm really, I'm really passionate about it. For me, it's, I'm really, I think it's really important. Yeah. And there are really affordable labels out there. It doesn't have to cost you a bomb. You, no. It's just harder to get hold of. That's the only thing because you'll yeah. go to like sainsbury's and they won't have it but necessarily you know um but you can get hold of it yeah. i i use a really cheap brand that i use is, is jason and they do body and skin care and it's all really affordable and will be have comparative um prices to your high street brands mm. you can buy it online mm. there you go it's my tip of the day yeah. and they ain't paying me to say that neither <laughs> 
Um, I actually want more information on anything that we do talk about during these. Just pop, yeah. pop us a message. We're always going to put these chats on our IGTVs afterwards. So you when I learn how to. <laughs> They'll be on my IGTV. Yes. <laughs> and um, just pop a comment or send us a DM and we'll be happy to talk to you about anything that we touch on in these because we've already gone over time. Can you believe Oh, it? okay. We have to say goodbye. I feel like we need to like dance out. Like we need to start getting the like. <laughs> We're like, hey, oh, hey. Oh, you know what we need to end on? Done. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> this is Georgina's one. Georgina, we need you. Do the Carlton dance. Come on, I want to see you do it. Can you do it, Jen? Can you do it? No, I can't. Dun, I can't. Dun. I can't. I, no, I can't. Some <laughs> day. Uh, oh, we need a Zoom session. Yay. Yes. Yes, please. Can you guys? Why don't you put it in your stories? Do the Carlton dance and tag her, please. Yes. And George, <laughs> our girl G is our sister, by the way. George, do the Carlton dance. Please do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Um. And yay! Thank you. Oh. So, guys, we've decided to make this a regular thing. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Oh, um, <laughs> tune in, no tune in, we're still going to be here. <laughs> so we're going to do it, hopefully, every Sunday, right, Lise? Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Yes. Um, at 5.30. And what we're going to do is that everyone who joins us live... Yes. ...are going to enter into a little draw, and the week after, the following week, we're going to pull the name out of the hat, and they'll get something from my home frame range. Ooh. Um, just as a little thank you for joining us and supporting us cause... for joining our party yeah and can you please let us know if there's things that you'd like us to talk about yes like if the... we'd love to like research some stuff as well so if it's like oh what do you think about this you know within reason we'll look into it and, and see see what we can do between the three sisters we all do different things we've all got different um specialities so between us all we should uh, be able to answer that. yeah because i know i've i've like this is my account for my um singing and my music but i'm also a reiki practitioner yeah. so i do reiki healing and i know a little bit about meditations and energy and stuff which is why i i wax lyrical about these things <laughs> so, <laughs> yay. yay oh that's nice kelly says draw or not i'd like to attend just for the last yay Thanks. yeah we're hoping to keep that whole like yeah silly fun yeah. Yeah. thing going about feeling good and keeping everyone's energy levels up and and just being happy and a bit silly we yeah because we are, because we're mad, we're crackers. <laughs> okay, guys, well, thank you so much for watching us. And thank you for joining in. Um, yeah, thank you for all the comments. Yeah, we've really loved it. Um, yeah. So we'll take note of everyone who has joined us live and we'll be entering you into the join next week. Woo! Gonna have to think of some outro music. Yeah, we are. Um, make some <laughs> uh, uh, I might need to make some outro music oh my guys lots of love oh no someone just joined us we're finishing yeah. I'm leaving, but I'm gonna add this on to my IGTV and I'll talk Lisa around how she can do it <laughs> It's because I can only do 15 minutes at a time. I have to slice it in half. Anyway, um, we're, join us next week, Dad Dad in Muckin. Yeah. And 
if you try some of the things that we were talking about today, please let us know how it goes. Please do. Please do. All right. Lots of love. Love. See you next week. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>